Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I've been thinking it's probably time we get to know each other a little better. So I've decided to do the 50 facts about me tag. Basically, I'm gonna tell you 50 random facts about me, and I would love it if you guys could comment back and tell me a random fact about you guys. So let's get started. I'm 167 centimeters, but wish I was taller. My feet are size eight in flats, but seven in heels. A few years ago, I modeled for Subway, this sandwich company, and I was dressed as a synchronized swimmer and had to wear a nose peg, which is obviously very flattering, and I appeared on eight billboards all around Brisbane. I am terrified of spiders, no matter how small they are. Nobody needs that many eyes or legs. When I was little, I was obsessed with the TV show The Adventures of Tintin, so much so that I named my dog Snowy, even though she was black. I get really grumpy and snappy when I'm hungry. Like seriously, if I'm grumpy around you and you give me food, I will be instantly happy again. The Sims is the reason why I studied interior design at university. I've been to three universities studying three different degrees and I've only finished one of them. I started off at Griffith University studying multimedia and absolutely hated it. So six months in, I changed to a Bachelor of Arts at UQ studying cultural studies media studies, communication studies, and mathematics. And that was really fun, but in the end you don't really get anything except a very expensive piece of paper. So then I changed to interior design at Queensland College of Art, and that's what I finished with. My favorite color is red, and if I see anything red at the shops, I'm more inclined to buy it. Seriously, clothes, food, toilet cleaner, anything. I can control my eyes separately, but no, I'm not going to show you because that's not something I want on the internet. <laughs> my first job was at Priceline and is probably the reason for my makeup addiction. I'm a sympathy spewer, so if someone spews near me or I can hear someone spewing, I have to remove myself from the situation, otherwise I will want to spew too. After my second time ever driving on the road, I rode off my dad's four wheel drive and since then have had a massive fear of driving. Basically, I stopped at the intersection, but the bus behind me didn't. I am terrified of open water where I can't see or touch the bottom. My mum is Maltese and my dad is Australian, so I am half Maltese and half Australian. I was born and brought up in a town called Cairns in North Queensland. But I also lived in Brisbane for five years when I was studying, however I am back in Cairns now. I'm allergic to pineapple and kiwi fruit. I went on a school exchange to Japan when I was 15, even though I sucked at Japanese and basically couldn't understand a word anyone said. As well as Japan, I've been to America and Malta, and two years ago I went around Europe with my friend Sean. We went to London, Paris, Avignon, Barcelona, the Swiss Alps, the Austrian Alps, Florence, Rome, Venice, Amsterdam, Prague, Berlin, Belgium, Croatia, Slovenia. Athens, Santorini, Mykonos, and Paros. So it was a big trip and probably the best time of my life. I'm a really anxious person and stress about everything. I have a little brother who isn't very little. He's about six foot and towers over me. I have two and a half cats. Half is because we found this stray cat and it was very sick. So my family took it in, raised it back to health, and then it just never left. <laughs> if I could, I would just live in my unicorn onesie but it's way too hot for that. When I was little, I used to do jazz dancing and rock and roll dancing, and I was so good at it that my instructor used to call me Twinkle Toes, which is funny because if you know me now, I am one of the least coordinated people on the planet. I also used to do gymnastics, circus skills, youth theater, swimming, and bowling. I've played World of Warcraft for eight years of my life, and I really wish that I'd played for 10 because now I was giving out these orc statues to anyone that's played for 10 years, so I've missed out. I was a massive tomboy when I was little. I'd always be playing in the mud or climbing trees or something. I am extremely shy and always stuff up my words. My teeth have cost my parents a small fortune, but I'm very grateful for it. I've had teeth out, retainers, braces, you name it, I've had it. I haven't had a haircut in over six months, and probably only get it cut twice a year. I can't stand the fuzz on peaches. Like, even just thinking about it, it's like... <sighs> I hate talking on the phone. Like, I'd rather let the phone ring out, just so that I can text you back and avoid talking. 
I played Rapunzel in Rapunzel Uncut in high school. I have moved house 10 times in the last 7 years. I can't play any musical instruments, but I did have guitar lessons when I was 10. I have scoliosis and have to see a chiropractor often to manage it. I went to an all-girls high school. I'm the only one in my family who doesn't need glasses. One day it is my goal to have a pet Leon Burger. They're just so cute. I am left-handed. I am obsessed with anything that smells like vanilla and I currently have two vanilla candles in my room. I used to be a massive party animal. Like when I was 18, I would go clubbing and to parties multiple nights of the week, but luckily I grew out of that and now I haven't been clubbing in over a year. I've been stuck in an elevator before and it was not a fun experience. It was with a group of drunk people and drunk people and confined spaces, they're not a good mix. I wore my Slytherin robes to the midnight screening of the final Harry Potter movie. I've been to the first screening of every Harry Potter movie in my city. I am a very messy person and the only part of my room that's actually clean is what you see behind me. I'm a very trusting person and yes it has screwed me over multiple times but I guess I just like to believe that everyone's a good person until they prove me otherwise. I'm a very restless person and struggle to stay still. Even right now I'm still like I rarely swear and swearing just doesn't really appeal to me. So that's it for my 50 facts, I hope you found it at least somewhat interesting. Don't forget to tell me a fact about you in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! A few years ago I modelled for Subway, the sandwich company, dressed as a synchronised swimmer and I had to wear a clothes peg. No, a nose peg. Clothes peg? What? <laughs> I've said bottom so many times now. <laughs> uh, bottom.